Uh, hello, everyone, or shall we say ciao? ciao. Everybody. <laughs> Uh, it's a pleasure for us uh, here at IE, and my name is Edgar Gonzalez. I'm the Associate Dean of Design here at IE. And uh, uh, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, this amazing event that uh, I know for a while because I've been participating in this event for, I think, four years now already. You know, that you, when the, since you started the, the, the Italian Embassy in Spain, started the, the, this, uh, this event, which is the Italian Design Day where uh, traditionally they uh, give a lecture, a very interesting lecture about design. Being in this setting in the School of Architecture and Design, it's super important that it's a great honor for us to have uh, an amazing speaker today, you know, um, um, Carlota, be, but, but uh, I'm not going to introduce her because uh, Roberto is going to introduce. No? I'm just super excited to know. These masterpieces, as you know, all my students know all these masterpieces by heart because I'm a huge fan of Artemide. And uh, especially the Dizio is my favorite. It's my favorite one. And uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I just want to introduce, uh, thank the, the Italian Embassy for, for having um, uh, having uh, this event uh, hosted uh, here with us. And I want to introduce uh, Roberto Nocella, which is the the the, the, the first consular. Sorry, <laughs> I was going to say the first consular of the of the Embassy uh, of Italy. And without further ado, I introduce, uh, I leave you with uh, Roberto, which you introduce Carlota. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. My name is Roberto Nocella. I'm the head of the economic uh, office at the Italian Embassy in, uh, in Madrid. Today is a special day for us. It's the Italian Design Day. Every year, each embassy chooses a, a, an Italian ambassador for design, and the ambassador in, uh, in Madrid, Ricardo Guerilla, uh, decided to, to have uh, a Carlotta de Bevilacqua with us, who accepted this uh, invitation from the Italian ambassador. And we are very grateful to, to her and all uh, her staff for having uh, cooperated closely with, uh, with us during this, uh, these weeks. Um, for uh, the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Italian Design Day is an instrument uh, to promote uh, Italian industrial design all, all over the world and also to promote uh, some important fairs in Italy like uh, uh, Euroluce, uh, Salone del Mobile, and also the Triennale in, uh, in Milan. Um, so we would like to uh, um, present to the, the public uh, the Italian design industry, uh, our tradition, and also uh, all our uh, capability to innovate in this, uh, in this field. We are uh, uh, now in uh, one of the most uh, iconic uh, uh, towers of uh, Madrid. We can see uh, from the top of this tower uh, the Sierra, and also behind us uh, uh, we have a spectacular view of the city of uh, Madrid. And I'm sure that uh, uh, from the words of uh, Carlotta de Bevilacqua, who is the president uh, uh, and CEO of uh, Artemide, we will have a spectacular view on the Italian industrial design. Thank you. Grazie. Buongiorno. Now, I will speak in English, but uh, in Spain, I suppose to speak in Italian because <laughs> the, the language but you are not from Spain, Maine, or more or less. So, thank you to be here. Uh, the presentation is a little bit uh, long, so I would like to invite Laura and Laura, Laura Salviati and Laura Pessoni. Laura Salviati is responsible for uh, uh, PR relations, and she is always writing uh, a lot of interesting. Uh, translation from the energy to the paper, we can say. And Laura Pessoni is involved in innovation. We have many teams in Artemide and 
e faccio così, ecco. Many teams in Artemide and related to many, to many competencies and one of these, uh, the main one is to design and we will speak about this, design the future in the present. So this is, and they are lady, but I would like to introduce, uh, and I cry always, Ernesto Gismondi. Ernesto Gismondi um, was an engineer, sorry, but always the same, so normal. Then Ernesto Gismondi is, uh, was an engineer and uh, he founded Artemide at the end of the 50s um, together with a friend and uh, he was uh, an engineer specialized in rockets. So, uh, He designed for the NASA many rockets, um, engines, and so on. And he teached uh, at the University Polytechnic for many years uh, this, this, uh, say this, this matter. So here is a picture when he received the Compasso d'Oro for this light that is this, and we will speak uh, later on. And, um, He was really focused on, uh, on the knowledge, the knowledge in terms of science and research, always. And this is really the secret of the great success of Artemide, that is, you can say, a convergence between uh, the creativity but a deep scientific knowledge. We are speaking about light, and light is an energy, is not a shape. So Ernesto, Um, always, uh, as, as you can, can read, uh, uh, to improve this uh, and uh, with always the idea of uh, a great vision. And a great vision means uh, to improve uh, the life quality, the culture, and to be inclusive in terms of true light, educate people uh, to appreciate the culture of design, and also, and mainly, to stay better. Olaigu qui, o fado mio, vabbè. So this is um, a, a picture by Elio Terwitt, that is, in my, my personal opinion, one of the greatest photographers in the world, from USA. And uh, he took this picture, that apparently is um, very simple, very, like, uh, very, very, uh, you can say, come si dice, essential, but is uh, uh, one of our buildings uh, along the highways from Milano to Torino, and uh, this means that uh, um, was very important for Ernesto Gismondi and for all of us to be essential, Not, uh, the, the language of the building is, has to be really uh, sustainable, but, uh, and all the buildings are similar, but in this, uh, in this uh, uh, area we have everything. We have the research department, we have the employees, we have the factory, and many factories around. This is, uh, just to go fast, uh, this is Italy, We have factories uh, in Hungary, in France, uh, and in North America. And uh, we have in Venice also a glass factory. And this is our, uh, we can say, network in terms of distribution because we are present in many, many, in many, many countries with our subsidiaries. Andiamo avanti, che allora... Ah, this is me. <laughs> this is me, I like very much ski. When I was, uh, I started to ski when I was uh, four, four or three or four. And so, and this is uh, one element that is, uh, we have designed it all together in the 16 and it's going super, super well. It's like a, a part of an architectural structure. Andiamo avanti. I don't know how much you know in terms of science. Chiedo aiuto. But I would like to introduce uh, The matter, the matter of light. Um, volete farlo voi? Vuoi farlo tu? 
But this is clear, no? This is clear as, as a concept. And the quant is more complex. Uh, we will start with the wavelength, no? And the wavelength quanta means uh, the particle. It is really complex. I don't know if it's the right. Uh, no, sorry, I mean, it's complex for me. So, <laughs> so uh, human being, because uh, other animals are different, are able to to recognize the reality in terms of wavelengths. Uh, starting, the wavelengths are measured in nanometers. Uh, starting from 380 until 780. So this means that after and before, human beings don't see anything. Even if uh, the energy is there, and for example, uh, dogs are able to see only in this part, birds, others. The dogs are able to see only in black and white and not in color, for example. So, but let's speak about Man. Uh, this is. C'è un'altra cosa con le. No. No. But it means that here the, the wavelengths are really, really uh, short, uh, close, so the energy is really strong, and here the wave is more uh, open. Why we are speaking about this? We are speaking about this because light is a matter that is not uh, has the role to, to illuminate, but as could be could be able to do many things. For example, I introduce uh, the collection integralis that is uh, that is how we invented a light able to sanify the spaces. So through the same energy, we are able to stay safe in spaces. So, with the humanity discovered fire before Christ, 500,000. Mm? Then, until the beginning of the 19th century, only fire was uh, the element to light our life. You can imagine, only fire. So can you imagine all the uh, drawings, the art, uh, the communities, and so on? Only with a candle in the wind, okay? This is uh, incredible. And the humanity did many, many things. Many... So after the, the Industrial Revolution, with the energy, so all, all the country was involved in the Industrial um, new solution in terms of production, in terms of many, many things, Mr. Edison, Mr. Edison was able to transform the energy coming from the water, coming from the carbon, coming from in light. And this is the first bulb. The first bulb in the history, able to light spaces, humanity, nature, so, this was born in the 19. For 40 years, only, only the bulbs. I don't want to explain how, because it's so easy to understand. So, Cosa c'è? Then we go fast. Eh? If you want to know something, you can ask. Then, fluorescent after 40 years, that is another total different complex. And then, the great revolution with, in the 60s with the halogen bulb. Very small, very strong. And in 10 years later on, later the metal allied. Then at the, around the 2000, the other super great revolution like this, LED. And here we are inside the new, uh, new potential uh, way to light, but very complex. Uh, we go fast, because if not, we stay, uh, we go fast. But this is the history since the beginning of the last century until now about how we, the tools that are able to provide light in the environment. 
Why I say this? Because, of course, uh, we, depend from the tool, we depend from the tools, and if you are involved in designing objects, spaces, and so on, you have to match when you are designing light with this kind of technology that are very complex. So, after, after uh, so with the LED and the electronics uh, improvement, what you will see in every, every device, this, that, our mobile phone, the, the, um, the witness was incredible. So, we, every company, every designer, every architect was involved to face in another way, to approach in another way, the matter of light. Not a bulb over by a body, but something that could be integrated in the architecture or integrated in different materials and uh, many, many new frontiers were open and will be always open. So this product is called Alphabet of Light, designed by Bjarke Ingels Group. Uh, at the beginning, I will show this. These were the masterpiece, the most uh, sold. Uh, now, the first, the teacher, then I make the show, and after 20, nearly 20 years, after 15, the Tolomeo. Can you imagine that this product now is the most sold in our collection? Like the Tolomeo? So, this I want to say that the, the it's not a secret, but uh, the meaning of designing is always synthesized, many matters. And uh, like Michelangelo uh, was saying, and questo lo dico in italiano però, togliere è bellezza. The, the great, the great, uh, la, la grande, the great challenge was always to take away. The more you take away, the more, the more you are able to synthesize and to, and to really be sustainable, intelligent, and really be linked to the industrial design. That means not, not special product, but in super intelligent product, able to provide quality, to provide the best light, to provide the beauty, and to design to be also the author of, of your environment, not a victim of a design. This is very important in, in every field of design. Never think to create victims. Always think to give, to educate and to give the possibility to everybody to be the author of his space. And uh, we jump immediately inside the matter of uh, uh, architects. Why are Temide and uh, why Ernesto Gimonti always wanted to cooperate with architects? Because the meaning of light, as I said, is really linked to the space, architectural space, human being, uh, and so on. So mainly, together, uh, he was able to share ideas, to share uh, visions, and so to create uh, uh, great results. Um, just to say, the... the Herzog de Meron, Gio Ponti, Istart, Jean Nouvel, Norman Foster, Cucinella, Bjarke Ingels, Ernesto, Ettore Sozzas, Mario Botta, and so on. Many, many, many. David Cipperfield, and so on. But also artists like Mimo Paladino and uh, designers like Ross Lovegro. So it's not or or. Anyway, or not of Casata. This is the first project of Artemide designed in the 59, and uh, as I said, Artem, uh, Ernesto was teaching, was involved in other, in other um, matters, but uh, during the evening and the night, he worked for Artemide. Why? Because he founded Artemide in those years, and uh, uh, for 10 years he had a double, a double life, we can say. Coming back to Alpha, Ernesto did uh, classic studies, liceo classico come me, and uh, so he, he knew the Greek very well, very well, he knew the Greek. And, uh, uh, the <laughs> and so he decided to create the first collection, 10 pieces 
starting with alpha, beta, delta, the alphabet in Greek. So alpha was the first. In this, in this uh, product, there was, se va indietro, already the vision, incredible. This glass was uh, an industrial glass. This was marble from Italy. This could uh, help to move the object in the 57. In 59, sorry. So, and uh, he founded Artemide with uh, his friend Sergio Mazza. He was an architect. And so Ernesto for 10 years decided always not to sign the product and to stay together with Sergio and so on. Then he started to design. Second product. These are the most, one of the most important architect, group of architects in Milano. They designed the Torre Velasca and many other things, BBPR, and they designed this second uh, product, RAW. Once again, industrial glass, this is a die cast, uh, blah, blah, blah. Once again, match together the, the culture of designing also architecture, so industrial, and uh, the idea of proportion, beauty, and so on. But in, uh, in the 60s, Ernesto met really the greatest, uh, uh, you can say, the greatest friend, but also the greatest designer for, not only for Artemi, the Vico Magistretti. You see Vico Magistretti here with uh, all these products that are for Artemi. Vico Magistretti was an architect as well, very important. This is a skyscraper in Milano facing the Triennale. And uh, Vico immediately was so intelligent to, to synthesize many elements. For example, this was a glass, an gl industrial glass. And, uh, and this is an industrial glass. But the idea of Vico was to cut here and here in, in order to insert to insert in the, in the, in the middle and, and to provide the light free up and down and to introduce this geometric, geometric globe. You say, easy, no. The idea was not easy. And you see, and was immediately something, great success, only in glass, industrial, diffusion, opening, and to hang with this kind of and this is uh, really the talent. When you do simple things, but totally unexpected, and uh, they are totally new, but simple. Simple and sustainable, because if you see all these products were already sustainable. Glass, aluminum, cosa succede? Ah, ho fatto io. My hands. Touch, touch. Too advanced, too much advanced for me. <laughs> and to, during those years, there were also the great, uh, you can say, um, new de design through um, this kind of material, synthesis, synthesi, no? material di synthesis, PMMA or uh, other. And uh, Ernesto decided to to open another collection in terms of furniture. Once again, designed mainly by Vico Magistretti. So this, this is, you can imagine when, you are, I, if, you are, if you are interested, you are invited in Milano to see the factory because you, really you, you learn so much, so much. This was the first, uh, like a tower, you see here. Able was a great investment during those years. And I saw, I, I was there, and from the top to the end, this kind of space produced the chair. And this is Vico with Ernesto. I don't know where is Ernesto. Ah, Ernesto is this one. Oh, non posso toccare. Oh. <laughs> and this one is Ernesto. Normal television, no. <laughs> and uh, just to say, Abbiamo uh, una Selene qui, no? But this was incredible because only, only the mold, 
and he designed the structure together with Ernesto, the structure of the leg, of the legs, uh, really intelligent in order to be super, three things. The first one, one piece. The second one is foldable, foldable si dice, simple, and, and, and the structure itself was the beauty and the poetry of the piece. So it's not, you don't feel a mechanical solution, even if it is. So this is the secret when you design something. Once again, I repeat, the synthesis of the elements that are able to do their job, but at the end, the talent is if you are able to design the beauty. And long-lasting, because uh, we still have, and really is, and this is an ethic attitude, very important. Not, no style, but intelligence, and proportions, and blah, 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 at the end, the beauty. So, with the same spirit, Vico Magistretti has designed all these uh, small tables, the Metrio collection, always foldable, huh? And this light. This light was uh, not a mold. This light was uh, coming from the sketches. The idea to have the same light always start with, we, you have to start from an idea. Never with the pencil. First with the idea. Or even if you have only in your mind. But this is. So the idea was to fold like a, a paper, a sheet of paper to fold a material in order to provide the same light, the same light that is super difficult, no shadows, the same light with this kind of uh, uh, reflections from the source. And at the end comes the beauty. This is, uh, the name was Chimera, and half is Mezza Chimera, 1967. Uh, and this is, was the first interactive project, um, even if mechanical, but the first interactive project in Artemide, but I think not only, uh, not only in Artemide, in order to manage your light, not with the electronics, of course, with your hand, but able to turn the screen and so open or close the light in this kind of dimension. The name was Eclipse of course, and, uh, and you see this element, you, 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 you touch this like a ring, and you turn the light. Then Ernesto met Gio Ponti. Gio Ponti designed this skyscraper. For Artemide, only this, this uh, uh, it's like, a, I don't know how to say, it. in between a sculpture of light uh, and uh, you can hang, you can, but it was interesting, the concept, because it's the first light that could host other elements, small objects, uh, I don't know, books, whatever you want, nature. So it's like a picture that you can hang or you can have, and uh, once again, industrial approach, you see, is uh, something that, aluminum that you cut and you, and you fold. Gioponti. Then another, another challenge, this. This was, uh, Livio Castiglioni was the cousin of uh, Achille Castiglioni. This is incredible. Touching the light, 1970. Touching the light, thanks to the halogen system in serie, che non so come si dica in senso, in senso, in senso. And uh, so, and uh, the mechanical idea of uh, a structure foldable once again, cover, cover with the, the, the skin in opaline. That was a revolution, because the first time that you can, you can really touch the light, you can dress the light, and uh, so when I say never start from the typology, always start from an idea, a concept, touching the light, how we can manage this. And once again, everybody could be the author of this kind of Sculpture of light. Io non voglio dare a loro la... Faccio metà e metà. Ok. Richard Sapper, però dopo devo tornare lì. Eh. 
Richard Sapper, Ernesto met Richard Sapper because Richard Sapper was uh, hired in the, in the office of Marco Zanuso. Marco Zanuso was a super great architect in Milano, friend of Ernesto, friend of mine as well. And this was Richard and ciao. Ciao Richard, ciao Ernesto. Um, and, uh, vabbè, non ci sono più, sono insieme su, che progettano lampade. Allora, the idea was this. were uh, only with springs like Nazca Loris, no? So, table lights, uh, Nazca Loris la conoscete, no? At the beginning of the 19th century. Famosissima, vabbè. Luxo. Ok, so, uh, and springs and were able only to do maybe this length. Because of the weight, so, Putting together the halogen revolution, a bulb coming from cars, the fires of the car, this kind of lens, and the weight was nothing. And the halogen were in, low, in bassissima tensione, no? So, like the train for the children, no? positive and negative. And uh, Ernesto found this kind of bulb taking off from his car. But uh, because low voltage, they needed the transformer. That is that. So, transformer from 230, dopo lo faccio, e, e halogen. And uh, Richard Sapper, German, used to play with a small train, Merklin. Positive, negative, okay? Bene, allora, at the beginning was the dimension of the bulb and uh, the weight here, in order to balance this. Uh, I ask to everybody, do you see something here special? Is there something that you... Come? No. No wire. No wire. There are no. Eh, ah. <laughs> Students. <laughs> no wire. Because positive and negative, like in the train. And so, first of all, the small halogen, very light. Second, all the electronics is here. Of course, we, we need to balance, but mainly. <laughs> okay. This one. So you manage the current. This is the reason why we have to do study. This is the reason why. So it's not safe. It's not safe. This comes because of the normal. <coughs> No, non faccio, no, ragazzi, ce l'ha fatto, grazie. Se no lo facevo fare a te. No, perché hai molto, so Oh, wait. Next month. So, and so this was a perfect balance of energy, of weight, and always you can touch and you can manage it. So this is it. With the uh, 72 by 62, immediately, immediately, it became the collection of the oh, collection. For example, you see, no, turn on attimo indietro, you see how to manage and to protect. This whole is, was for the heating, because of course, and blah, blah, blah. So every detail has always a meaning. This is my recommendation. Don't design nothing. First of all, put together the components. And then you find the beauty, taking away, adding, and so on. This is my recommendation. But, and uh, with Tizio, and with another 
and with another, uh, other products, started the concept of what we call family. means that the same intelligence could be applied to provide light, uh, for floor light, or smaller, or... Uh, so, a family. A family with the different... What uh, uh, With, uh, with uh, different colors, uh, sizes, and so on. All these pictures were made by Aldo Ballo. Aldo Ballo was one of the greatest photographers in, in Italy, and not only in Italy, involved in design. And uh, so you see the shadows. Also the pictures are fantastic. Then Ernesto met Gaolenti. I suppose that everybody knows Gaolenti. A lady, super intelligent, was really... Uh, very, very intelligent, uh, based in Milano, and uh, he started designing many, well, many buildings, but also many furniture. The, the, the greatest was uh, in, no, before, but anyway, in Paris, uh, the, the, La Gare d'Orsay, Le Musée d'Orsay, and for Artemide, he, he, he designed something that was mission impossible. So a, a blown glass, the glass blown in Venice, but in the same time when you blow the glass, covered by an industrial element that was deformed because of the temperature, together with the glass. This is really impossible because uh, you, you cover the glass when the glass is super hot and then all together they lay and they wait to be uh, fixed with the right temperature. 96, 95, uh, 1975. Hey, Carlotta. I'm old. And so this once again Aldo Ballo uh, picture and this was the tra transparency and the when I say it's not a shape, because uh, this net, uh, the meaning of this net was because it was anti-glaring against the glaring of the bulb. So it was not because uh, we like, uh, but uh, the, um, we can say the, the shape was because of patocro, patroclo, so means uh, an hero, hero uh, of, the, of, of Greek. Andiamo avanti. Then Ernesto met Enzo Mari. Enzo Mari was a great designer, not an architect. Great designer, impossible as character, impossible. Against everybody, against the world, against everything. But once again, super intelligent. The system. You see this picture? This is very important. Because when you design, approach with this philosophy, like an abacus of elements, and so, starting from the up, in this abacus, you have all the sizes, all the diffusion in opaline, in, um, in steel or aluminum, I don't remember exactly, the bulbs, the cable, the mechanical joints, everything. And this is a system. And this is sustainable. 76. This is the resume of aggregato family. And the name aggregato was exactly for this. Table with different diffusion. Suspension, once again. So many, many spots, uh, wall, ceiling, floor. And you see this, this is uh, something um, that Enzo Mari wanted because he said we can uh, take this and move easily. So it's like a sign to, once again, to offer the potential, the possibility to every people, even if in the office, to move and to and to change your landscape, lighting, light landscape. So everything is useful. It's not then at the end, of course, the section, the proportion. Ernesto. This was uh, sketches. I, I present only this because. Ernesto did many, many, many design. Adesso vado un po' di qui anche. Bene. Però c'è scritto Enzo Mari, eh? Ragazze, 
Però Ernesto mi ha telefonato e eh, mi ha detto, c'è scritto Enzo Mari. Eh, student, anche loro erano studentesse, capito? Quindi io faccio sempre la professoressa, l'ho beccato subito. Eh, sono terribile, se vengo a insegnare qui, terribile. Allora, sketches sono questi. Eh, the bulb was super hot. So protected with this kind of rings of elements, you can move in that sense, and there is a family. Andiamo avanti. So, this was a table. You, you bend this and tac, 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 you can take in your hand. Sempre al doballo. Andiamo avanti. And this is, you see all the family. And uh, was, what is one of my favorite projects for uh, by Ernesto, because you see, you can clamp, you can put, you can have this, it's like a objet trouvé, the Duchamp, no? from a photographer, and so on, suspended wall, so many, many, always starting from an idea, and this is very democratic, because you really invest in one idea, this is protected, no risk to touch, but you leave the light free, so you don't waste any drop, of energy, and you protect from the heat, and you can put this system. And the price is intelligent, why? Because the, the head is always the same. So you share the investment, you share the stock, you share many things, and you change the typology and the color. Following... Uh, once again, Synthesis had a great success. Great success. And then Ernesto discovered that uh, the design, meaning the, the word design was not only in terms of uh, a meaning of shaping, but design was really design, progettare. E thanks to the new technology, the fluorescent, uh, the fluorescent system uh, with the, a new power in terms of color, temperature, and blah, 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 he said, okay, I design a system for offices, and he called Aton Barra. And this was another great success, incredible. The, the company doubled the turnover, and you see, because the intelligence, because it was not fixed, you can turn up and down, so the same code of elements could host different lighting solutions, spot or uh, linear, uh, fluorescent, but you can also have, uh, through this kind of notes, uh, four pieces or two in this direction or linear, you can turn no, a revolution. So you could have a direct light or indirect one in the same system, taking the power from there and you go along. No problem. So intelligent, sustainable, interactive. Nin 1990. And Ernesto met Michele. To be uh, honest, Ernesto met Michele because uh, before he met uh, Ettore Sozzas and together they founded Memphis. And Michele was involved in Memphis, but we don't speak about Memphis now. And, we say, and uh, here there was a meeting uh, in Milano in Ernesto's office uh, with Richard, Michele e Ernesto. E, and Ernesto said this, because he was really full of humor. And he said, Artemis is the two best men, I am the third. <laughs> um, and you see Tizio and Tolomeo. And uh, with Michele De Lucchi, Ernesto, because they together think about how we can go Longer than this, but also taking the light in the space, touching the light and moving the space. So they decided to go back to the bulb, to the incandescent bulb. So they needed to have a cover and, and to, to understand how, because incandescent bulb means no, Necessity of a transformer, you plug. So, oh sorry. so the base 
was enough and was able to host me only for a second. Grazie, per favore, grazie. No, and you can rotate freely. And you can take and move the head in the space. And also with this simple but intelligent mechanism. So taking away material electronics and uh, of course uh, study very well how, and this was really the talent of Ernesto Ingenieur, how you manage the um, la forza in order to keep springs that sono le molle dentro and this is the, the il, eh, per contrastare il momento e fissare la posizione perfetta. Always harmony, always balance, because this is perfectly calculated. No, no more, nothing more, but if you take away something, it doesn't work. So, un'altra rivoluzione. You can turn the light as you prefer, you can turn in the space, so you are free, without moving the base, and of course, you can go close and far. But the really main thing of this product is that it's the first super 100% sustainable product, all in aluminum, because no electronics, a bulb, and all is in aluminum, within, apart from the cable. And here, the cable is in. Okay, so this is, uh, we, we immediately we, we deposit the LCA, Life Cycle Assessment, and was the, the first uh, Artemide product able to answer to every part of this kind um, of circularity. Hmm? So everything material that so, Tolomeo and this was the first uh, the first uh, si dice, uh, prototype we can say okay prototype stavo dicendo modello you see the spring out blah 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 and this is the Tolomeo and this is Michele very happy because of the royalties <laughs> no ma we play we are super friend we are always joking we say okay but eh sì infatti dice sempre he's always say I would like to design another Tolomeo please Welcome. <laughs> so, Tolomeo became immediately a, a great family, small, uh, you see many, many typologies, floor, different kind of uh, diffuser, we, and not only in aluminum, but also in fabrics, etc., uh, etc. Et and we introduced colors, and at the end, we, like, this is Tolomeo family, so many, 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 and uh, giusto, giusto. And uh, we introduced the integralist revolution, I will we speak later, but just to introduce integralist is uh, a formula that we have designed before the pandemia, but able to sanify every space in every in, in many many products and uh, in Ptolomeo as well. So for example, if you have your Tolomeo on your desk at home, in, at the office, uh, wherever you want, and you leave Tolomeo uh, on, after, depending from the intensity, half an hour, 10 minutes, two hours, depending, you can be sure that it's sanified. And also, when you, when you leave Tolomeo Integralis on, you keep the security, uh, the, you keep the, we can say, a clean environment in order to be safe. Because the viruses, and you will see, and bacteria and viruses need time to, be, to become, come back to be strong. So, in this sense, uh, they are not aggressive. Okay, so, this is just to say that enduring design is fundamental. We don't need to design always something new. We need to design something new when, for example, we want a portable light. And this uh, to, uh, and once again, take away, take away any handle, and you take in your, in your hand, and you move your light wherever you want. And then we will speak about this. But this because didn't exist before. If not, 
or we, we want, and the Archangel Group has designed another uh, table lamp, because we need in offices different dimensions, but um, great light performances. Okay, andiamo avanti. Ecco, questo è Ettore, Ettore when he was old, and Ettore and Ernesto young. Uh, because they were going to Venice in our glass factory to blow the Memphis collection on the train. And uh, è carino Ernesto, eh? Mm -hmm. Più carino Ernesto di Ettore. Um, and Ettore designed this. The first was Calimaco with a handle, of course, always these colors that are linked to the culture of design for Ettore Sozzas. Once again, Aldo Ballo took the picture. And then he designed this Pausania. You, you can recognize some elements that are in Memphis as well. And there was a fluorescent bulb, uh, like uh, the entrance of the temple. And uh, this was uh, this host the electronics and uh, we can say a traditional uh, light for uh, for uh, the president of the company. <laughs> Very, and uh, but uh, once again, a good design could be improved. So different color temperature, super cold or warmer. So. 2,700 and or 6,000 in order to and you can manage this in the same uh, in the same um, product so you can manage different color temperature if you want to have a more precise light no andiamo avanti che è tardissimo Mario Botta io poi vado via a metà Mario Botta eh, another friend and uh, always super iconic so he designed uh, the, the signature of his architectures, uh, also in the light, always with, a, I don't know if you know this man, super, 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 Santiago, and he designed exactly uh, a lamp coming, to, he scaled a little bit, and there was, uh, once again, an icon of an architectural uh, element, and a structure, Monjuic. And Aldo Rossi, is, all of these mainly are, when I speak about the great architects that match uh, uh, um, Artemi de Ernesto Gismondi, and ma many of them uh, were, are Pritzker Price, uh, or many, many. So Aldo Rossi designed that, like, uh, uh, once again, a monolith, a monolith uh, without any design. Then he died, unfortunately, and so was the only one. And we met Norman Foster in the, at the end of the last century. This is in his office. This is, uh, I have a daughter, Carolina. She's 33 years, and Carolina was here. <laughs> ja, oh, Lord Foster. <laughs> this is Ernesto, and this is me. And this was an opening in Milano, in our showroom, uh, for the first system that he has designed, this one, that was, now it looks very old, but was a super intelligent system, the first one able to support uh, digital screens and many, many things. And uh, this is our environment in Milano, in Via Canova, and this, uh, and this was a, a picture by uh, Elio Terwitt that decided to use our employees, employees of our, now they are retired, but so it was always super, super smart. And this is uh, brand new in Kuwait. Wait, no, wait, no. Kuwait, okay. El, um, National Bank of Kuwait that we are lighting. And, why? And this is a project of Norman Foster, Foster and, and Partners that is called Orsa, that is in the catalog. But to introduce another very important quality when you design something, to think that could be also a custom. So you can use one element and create in, like this, uh, like a ceiling of light with the same element Orsa. Andiamo avanti. So this is the product that you can buy single. 
and uh, once again the product has uh, um, super intelligence because the source is here, here is transparent, and here you have an opaline diffuser in order to see the transparency of the space and uh, the, uh, to have a good light uh, below. So, and reduce always, reduce to innovate, we used to say, the minimum to give the maximum. And uh, it's like a brick of light, means that you can use one, but you can create uh, a super, a super uh, ceiling. Once again, uh, with Foster, with the intelligence of designing offices, contemporary offices, a portable one. So this, lo posso dire? Beh, I, I say that Foster is designing, questo lo sa tutto il mondo, the new Cupertino headquarters for Apple. Then, can you imagine? <laughs> and uh, so this means that you are free to, to organize your uh, work, workplace uh, wherever you want, uh, and uh, everything is, um, is perfect, and you can recharge also connecting with the laptop. And uh, the last uh, project by Foster is a family, once again, that uh, once again you can touch the head and uh, with a magnetic um, solution here you can turn. So taking away other material, other material and also the cable is enough to, to guarantee that uh, anyway the source will stay close to the harm. And this, once again, a family with different colors. Uh, and it's going, uh, it has started very well. And this is our Pierpaolo Ferrari, a bravissimo photographer, that is always uh, ironic when to create something disrupting. Questo è di qui, Moneo. Moneo has designed uh, for the Atocha Station, this kind of super industrial but intelligent and, uh, and poetic element. Once again, a system like a brick that could follow every part of the architecture. This was uh, nearly 20 years ago. Add another great architectural officer, personally my favorite, um, Herzog de Meron that we know since many years. The first, the first project with them was the Helvetia building in which the, they, they wanted to be super transparent and the offices with this product that I will show. That was the first product that you can move by yourself. The name is Pipe. And you can move and you can organize your uh, environment as you prefer, but in order to be, to be, uh, in order to accord in all the rules of, uh, of uh, UGR. So you can have in offices wherever you want, but everybody could move. And also the intelligence is that if you move the layout of the offices, you don't have, you don't need to move the light, the, the fixed. Okay? And this is the building in Milano designed by Herzog de Meron, Feltrinelli. Um, super, super, bellissimo. And these are other products that we have designed. Come? Oh. Uh, other products designed by them. Unterlinden is the name, suspended or, or uh, for the table. Uh, you see the difference of languages. They are really linked to material, and they are, come si può dire questo trattamento? Si. Si, is a die cast both in aluminum and in, and, and bronze, and they wanted to, to have exactly this result. So once again, once again, uh, the concept of light, but in this case, for the for Herzog de Meron, link it to the material they normally use in their architecture. Andiamo avanti. So, a family once again, floor, wall, uh, suspended. Here is interesting one thing, and outdoor. Here is, is interesting this, because they don't want to, 
to have uh, um, this kind of seal suspension uh, fixed. So they said, we need only a circle, and then with small uh, uh, gaps, and you can move up and down without any other mechanical joint. So we deliver the cable and a ring, and then you can organize your space. Now this is fantastic, fantastic. And, uh, and, they, and they love not to be precise with the cable. So they said, no, we want a little bit this, as not so much designed. And, uh, and this is the importance of the di dialogue with uh, the authors, because uh, the brand is not Artemide. The, the, the brand is the cooperation in terms of the culture of design between Artemide and all the knowledge that we have in our company, but also really to understanding and promoting the relations. And this is the reason why I have I'm really proud to say that they main architect design only with us. Because of this uh, kind of feeling, uh, empathy, humanity, and also the intelligence of the investment in diecast create once again a family, indoor and outdoor. So, so with this uh, Unterlinden, we, we are able to light gardens uh, and many outdoor spaces and strong enough, because it's the same, it's the same. So you can lower the prices, you can improve the investments, you are sustainable, blah, blah, blah. You stock the same head, and you can move the same head out and down. Jean Nouvel, another friend, and he designed a strange light with a double head. But he said, yes, I want. I said, okay, Jean. And uh, he designed, but as an architect, he uh, was involved also in this uh, Louvre in Abu Dhabi. I was there. And all of these lights are from Artemide. This I personally designed. And uh, me. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and others that he designed. And this is important because uh, well, this is intelligent. I don't want to... It's just, so intelligent and maybe too much. <laughs> you have a three, three sections. So here we have the electronics in the back. This is uh, uh, an element in order to, eat, to be anything for, for the LED that is inside. And here, like in a, uh, come si dice, macchina fotografica, in a, like in a camera, you turn and change the objective. It means the different lens. See, patent of invention, blah, blah, blah. Bravissimo, bravissimo il designer, bravissimo. <laughs> Ten years ago, advanced. E andiamo, si chiama Kata, and then, I'm so proud about this. Because uh, as an architect, I always, uh, I always try to follow all together the new, uh, the new tendency. And uh, we met, abbiamo detto che abbiamo detto che era il book. Uh, 2015, I said, but these are incredible. So I took a flight to Copenhagen and knocking on men's door. They were not so much known. Uh, they did uh, in Copenhagen, but not too much known. And the office was uh, simple, like this space, many, many people, and there was a mezzanine, but not so modern, eh? like uh, an industrial space. And uh, I said, uh, can I visit you? Who are you? I'm Carlotta. <laughs> no, no, no. I said, yes, of course. And I met them in this mezzanino, a, a, a table in wood where we were, the, come si chiama la tazza, la, la loro? Eh? No, 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 proprio dei ha, hug, no, si chiama? Cioè, proprio quelle tazze di caffè così, con un manico. No more, caffè quello terribile, like water, no? The machine, no? Caffè is only brown, but... And uh, they had this table, so really this space, imagine. A table in wood, super simple, some Ikea chair, and a fluorescent 
on inflorescence. And I said, ah, oh, because they tell me that, like, they are telling me that. I said, listen, uh, I have an idea. Are you able to, to translate our idea of a new fluorescent, not fluorescent? Like a system without shadows, without joints, and so on? And of course, I said, yes. <laughs> I said, yes, of course. So this is the system. Not only this. This uh, is their office in New York, new one. And uh, you see, and this is the best sellers in this moment, as is, is selling like Ptolemeo and for sure. Why this? Because of the simplicity. Because you don't see, the joints are here, super, super. LED strips and the optics, no shadow, nothing. And this is Artemid. And this is really to go deeply in understanding the meaning of light. Because a tube is a tube, it's full of tube. But a tube able to have the same, the same um, efficiency and, uh, as I said, 360 degrees with electromechanical collection patent pending because you don't see the shadow inside. So we have brought the light on, so it's super complex. But if you come uh, in Milano, you will see the... And you can go in the space, up and down, without any sign, continuous light. This apparently looks simple. It's one of the most difficult projects that we have faced in the years. And these uh, are um, Accenture in New York, for example, but many, many. This is... Uh, 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 and because after this, uh, this is the alphabet, we decided to integrate the alphabet, designed by always by big, with a, a system, with spots and so on. And once again, the difficulty was to, to keep the same section and to be able to connect with all the electronic devices, blah, blah, blah. But the result is super. Another thing is important is that in an ethics way, because the acceleration of the technology is incredible. You see, every, every two months, the iPad, the iPhone, all the other are changing. The same in light. So we have decided since some year to have the, the inner part, what I call the electronic and optic heart of the spot, for example, that is the same for all, all the spots designed by Big, designed by Mario Cucinella, designed by Foster. Why this? Because we share the, the, the results of the research in many products. And we share the investment and we are able always to update. So, why I say to you this? Because you have always to start from the limit. Limits. Not from the fantasy. Never. So, never. So if you want to design a spot, the matter is not the shape arrives later. To know exactly how much is the electronics, uh, the dimension of the electronics, of the optics, the, the heat, the temperature of the heat, uh, what do you want to have in order to mechanical movement, so it's enough this or that, or you want to improve more, so the joint, uh, blah, blah, blah. When you have put together these ideas, always, uh, of course, in evolution, but then you, and so you, you, you have to know how, how is the track, uh, the, the dimension, blah, blah, blah. Then you decide which cover do you want to put, if it's intelligent or not. So the Archangel group, they like always these round elements, and uh, they designed something round. Then we discuss a lot because was too big, too big, and, uh, and we reduced it because when you need spot, you need to, to have a, a very short uh, empty space. That is how you, you bend uh, and you move the spot, then you want to put another. If this is very large, so just to say, but you can. And in the same time, because this is the signature for them, kind of uh, rounded, they went in Venice as well, and they learned how to blow the glass, but with another finishing. La Linea was another challenge, super, super difficult, 
because something always that you can touch, like the old volume, but able to stay outside, inside, so rain, sun, and uh, you will see the, temp the temperature. La Linea is an extrusion, an extrusion with an optic designed inside. So we, designed the, we have designed the optic, and then, and then uh, we, we have chosen the material, and the, the very important thing is that you can roll. So this means uh, you don't need, uh, with alphabet you have to make a choice in, uh, with every code of every element. So straight, uh, 120, round, uh, up and down. With La Linea, there is only this. And uh, of course, in terms of efficiency, is less uh, efficient because uh, the material, you can say, keep inside more, more energy because of the properties of the material that needs to be able to support high temperature, uh, wet, uh, but uh, you can put this in a swimming pool, for example. But uh, the matter is that, so out, outside, inside, uh, but the matter is, once again, that you don't see any sign. And you can hold, you can order five meter and five meter, and then you can cut on site, and this is super intelligent because we stock a roll of five, uh, 10, uh, I don't know, 15 probably, and 20, see. And this is uh, um, something that I love so much, the name is Earth, and is a message. Means that La Linea is La Linea, and is born to follow every needs, but also, once again, you can create with La Linea a message. And in this case, of course, is uh, uh, the heart, the, the value of being all together without any boundaries, without any... So to help, to help people that need to be helped, to support, uh, we are lucky, and uh, to support the world with... Uh, the culture of design, that means uh, also uh, introduce uh, values. So this is something that when they have designed, we said for us is a product, and the name is Earth, as you see. Uh, once again, patent of invention. That patent of invention is really exceptional. So few of company, few of companies uh, have the patent, have a patent in products. So this is, is my obsession, I have to be honest. Uh, never copy, never copy. Introduce something that didn't exist before, always. If not, change, change your job. <laughs> if not, do something different, maybe better. Okay, and this is once again the same shape for outdoor, uh, and um, Gopal for gardens, we have uh, in our, this is uh, a, ga uh, a garden that I have in Santa Margherita, close to Portofino. We go, and then, non ce l'abbiamo qui, ma Big decided to face the heritage, starting from Tizio to Tolomeo, to design the new Tizio Tolomeo. This was their intention, and... Uh, very small. Allora, torniamo indietro un secondo. So, they decide to be sustainable. To, tocco sempre lo schermo. To be sustainable, to take away this joint. So, no needs about this or about that. So, this is an angle always, always the same. This is sustainable because for many reasons. No, not only material, but also uh, time of uh, assembling, uh, blah, blah, blah. But they needed the technology to bend this. So Artemide designed this. So the cable is inside. The cable is inside and goes there. No, you see, nothing to manage the light. You can touch out this joint and you, you manage from here. 
è lì ancora. And you manage the head, and while you change the head, you have the, the touch to, uh, to reduce or improve the intensity. So a strip LED circular, the optic solution is incredible because we have, we have to stay inside all the, the rules. E andiamo avanti, e control the mission. So it's uh, the first task light able to have a controlled emission like, like the systems. And uh, immediately became a family. And this is the Last Supper. Reminds the Last Supper. Dimmi, dimmi. Non so, io sono a disposizione. Se volete andiamo avanti, veloci. No, integrali secondo me è però. Vabbè, questo è folded, flat packing, aluminum, sempre very big, or outdoor. No, because every project uh, is so important, so important. This is our graph factory, another project uh, with another, vuoi, di, vuoi dirlo? So this project has two characteristics, very important. Take note, please. Take note, because this is really important. Torni indietro un secondo, me lo fai vedere. Torni indietro. OK, no? Okay. Allora, this part, the cap, the hat, is super precise, always nanomicron. As inside the bulb, super, super, not panel, designed by us, the e-think and is so precise that you, how can we match a blowing glass that is not precise with this? It's a secret. Non ve lo dico. <laughs> But this is really, this really is a manifesto of humanity keeping and saving the hard craft, the traditional, for example, of blowing the glass and to put together with the high precision uh, technology. And After this, after this, there is another thing very important that we want to transfer. Every piece is different from the other. It's like a, like a single aircraft. Why? Because this is super technology like NACA, SA, no? Super, super, super. And this is blowing, but with a, an idea that we had to blow in different, uh, to live. When you blow, you, you put in the oven. But if you put in the oven, not totally uh, uh, finished, but a little bit uh, mo molle, come si dice molle in Bruxelles, huh? when, you, when you lay down, take another shape. So the difficulty is to have perfectly the, the, the upper part in order to fix all this. And the other part, is different. So you, everybody has a, a unique, a unique glass, but super advanced in terms of technology. And this is incredible. But as Laura was saying, also in order to provide the emotion so, uh, of, the, of the light, this white light, this is the No, this, where is it? Eh, ma qui non si vede. Vabbè. This, here you have a, apparently color, colored light, but it's not true because here you have the transparency. And if you measure the color temperature here, it's perfect without any color. So it's perfect for offices, for every environment, but there is the hand of the man, the tradition of blowing the glass, the hyper technology, and mainly every glass is different, every product is different from the other. And believe to me, synthesize all this uh, is uh, brava Artemide. <laughs> okay, andiamo avanti, che mi fanno cenno che dobbiamo finire. And this is the latest project, questo no? No, no, no è big. Oh, questo, questo sarà un successo pazzesco. 
is a brand new, there will be once again a family, and once again is one element banded with a super light that we have designed that doesn't exist in production, blah, 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 able to provide light. Uh, non so, non ci sono le flor, le table. But, ah, no, it's a secret, it's a secret. We will present uh, in Euroluce. Uh, no, 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 because our prototypes we have to present. So, this this system is called Wild and will be incredible. Andiamo velocissimi, velocissimi, but if you want, you put also l'uomo più bello del mondo, Aravena, intelligente, bello, tutto. Non ha un difetto. No, è, è fantastico. E qui Ernesto, alla Biennale di Venezia, Artemide ha sponsorizzato molte, molte biennali. Questa era la Biennale di Alejandro Aravena nel... 2016, qui era Ernesto e qui ero io ovviamente, e, ma bello Ernesto, e questo era Ravena, ma Ernesto era più bello di Ravena. Sorry, I, I, so, Biennale in Venice, we are sponsored, and uh, we met Ravena and we said that we would like to design something together, and this is in our office in Milano, always Ernesto and the staff of Alejandro Ravena, and uh, he designed something unexpected. And once again, the technology of Artemide was able, our, our team, to provide light, even if the light is inside. So you have light around, but you never see the light. And uh, so another optic solution, diamo avanti che mi picchiano. And when, <laughs> this is incredible, just to say, anche lui è Pritzker, no? Cioè, Pritzker, cioè, Aravena è uno dei più grandi architetti del mondo, forse uno dei cinque più importanti o dei tre, questo è Aravena, il suo staff. When we delivered the first product, product produced, they took a, a... So Aravena was opening the box, and this is the... So this is... I want to explain to you how is important a relation, a human relation, to have always the spirit of a team, to be, to design. The first is designing uh, human connections and uh, to trust each other and to say we will design the future together. And uh, this is Alejandro Aravena. Eh? And they send us this picture. Proud to say thank you, Artemide, thank you, Ernesto, thank you, Carlot. And this I want always to show to the student mainly to really pushing the boundaries, no? It's very important to stay together, very important, without any problem. Then they, they for example, my student, 20 years, 16 years. So. Okay, andiamo avanti veloce. These are sketches from Alessandro, okay, that starting from the simple O, he designed something, a nightmare, because he said, I, I, when I was young, uh, children, a child, I used to play football, blah, 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 black and white football, ball, blah, 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 and, uh, but I would like to start from the dark. I would like to design a black light and uh, discover starting from the black, the light. Uh, this is really not democratic because the cost is incredible. But it's always a, a playground to discover new technology. So go, going fast, every triangle is an optic. So it's, not, uh, it's an optic inside with an LED. And then when you touch la, the skin, we can say, you create a, a, a term, come si può dire, a reaction. But anyway, you find all the information on the web because they are saying chudi, chudi, chudi. So, going from South America to China, ho visto, Lyndon Neri e Rosanna Wu, they are teaching at the MIT as well and in many other. Uh, they designed something linked to the Chinese uh, tradition with lantern, lanterns to move the light. So they said, we would like to have something that we can move in only with the hanging and... Uh, so this is uh, the um, NH, Neriu, NH, Neriu family, and uh, 
they wanted also to improve the family with these small board, birds, they said. So there is the philosophy of, uh, from Asia, the philosophy of nature, of uh, all these kind of elements. Another super great group of architects, Gensler, and they super American coming from, but anyway. So, a system apparently simple, but here there is really the uniqueness, because this joint allows to go up, to, to open and close two or four elements, lines of light, up and down. So you can go, it's the only system in the world able to go up and down to turn, to have a, a joint for four, a joint for two, and a linear one. And this looks simple, but not. This is a mechanical solution that we have designed. Eh? Another group, super group in the world, always super architects from, from Australia. possible to create an island of, si of silence and, uh, and light without uh, um, building walls of partition in, uh, in offices or spaces like this, pro providing the comfort zone for every, every group. Yes, it's possible. And uh, uh, Mario Cucinella thought about an element that you can open or close with uh, a part of uh, tissue that is able to, to low all the wavelength sound, the sound in terms of wavelength, a, a partition with the light of this discovery that of course is, open, is an open uh, solution for our, for our uh, friends. Uh, architects, so we have the right light, the right uh, silence, and we can open or close depending from the size of the 
of the from the dimension dimension of what we want to light, and it is always in a simple way, and uh, designed by Mario Cucinella, who is one of the most important architects not only in Italy and Europe but all over the world. Now he's in China, uh, designing many things, and uh, also he has designed this uh, these systems. Difference of the systems in front of the other, the same heart from the spot, same optical solution, but all the electronics part are lay, laying uh, are is inside all these sides. So it's flat and larger, but you don't have any electronic stuff there. And the second difference that he wants to come back to the Bauhaus, uh, we can say, is color experience, and so he has introduced the red, the blue, the yellow, and so on. And uh, the, um, the jun junction are not flexible like the Gensler product, but are fixed, fixed in three different... Abbiamo perso l'interesse, quindi io direi... No, 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 integralis è importantissimo. Five minutes for integralis, because integralis will save the world. Qui era finito, no? Finished? Okay, avete visto tutto. No, integralis is very important, it's very difficult. So uh, we introduce a, a simple exp explanation, but... Uh, um, but fallo dall'inizio, va bene? Dall'inizio. Tanto vado veloce. No, no, vai. Dove eravamo arrivati noi? Qui. Ok. Cinque minuti concentrati, eh? Se no non parlo. Controllo, eh? Guarda. Come abbiamo detto, as we have said, the light is this, an invisible physical phenomenon that makes space, humanity and reality visible. Lo cambiamo velocemente, grazie. Se no lo faccio io, eh? All of these are, are our installation. This is an installation that we did from, for Audi in Milano. It's a ring of light. And, uh, okay, when we say that light transforms spaces in places, this is very important. Because space is a space. A place is, some, is a space, but I, I feel to, to, to belong to that space. So it, and so we can create relations and so on. It feeds, uh, it feeds the humans. È complicato? Vabbè, go, stai qui un secondo, è facilissimo. Lo faccio facile. Re, uh, light radiations, my eyes, your eyes. Electrical impulse to the brain. The brain could be <laughs> a, a positive uh, psychological uh, reaction from us, but mainly a physiological reaction. Means that could really help all our uh, um, behaviors or many, many things. You can, you can study because it's all on the website. So, you know that we need to stay, to have a balance, no? So, if there is too much, too much dark means uh, in the polo nord and, uh, or too much light, we are not balanced. So, we have to improve the circadian, circadian rhythm. And uh, this is an hospital in which for children that has uh, bad disease, very complex, and we have installed the different colors, and uh, for example, with this, uh, the blue that is super energetic, there was a child that was four years old or five years old, I don't remember, uh, totally, uh, always, uh, he didn't, uh, he, autistic, didn't speak, uh, and with the blue tre treatment, with the doctor putting toys, eh, he, started to, he started to speak, really. A miracle. No, it's not a miracle. It, eh? See, he said blue. The first word, he said blue. Okay, andiamo avanti, veloci. Like, can also sanitize. And this is very important. Before the pandemic, we... Uh, designed this, this kind of light, able to have uh, 
the property with the same energy to create safe spaces, as we said. Stay together, integralis. Uh, well, non so, io non so cosa fare, possiamo... Vabbè, andiamo avanti. Allora, virus and bacteria. Eh, this is, uh, vuoi dirlo veloce, questo è molto importante. Eh? Here is not possible to stay under the UV. It's dangerous. So, when you use UV, empty spaces, and it works. But we need materials and so on. So, for example, the surgery are uh, always with UV, but nobody in. And the material are material that could uh, support the UV. What we have done is to study this part of wavelength in which uh, we can stay, but we can provide, as we said, the safe. Uh, però, io prima glielo ho già detto un pochino. Eh? Ok. Ok. So, what Laura was saying, that, questo se si toglie, where, when we have the visible light, there is also a part of this able to, to be aggressive and to reduce the, the, the come si dice? Sì. Ok. And... Uh, Siccome mi fanno cenni dalla regia che... Vabbè, and this is when with this solution we, we can stay and work, for example, there, and the same, and the same product that is discovery, when we are out, could, could work. And you see the rhythm. But, so, we can stay. The dose is this. But the matter is that we have introduced this formula that is together mixed with the time and the, uh, radiant, the radiance. So here, for example, in the, at the university, if the university is closed, during the, the time in which it's closed, you can use it. And so, when you come back, you, uh, you know that everything is safe. Va bene. Okay. E quindi abbiamo finito, and let's shape together our common future. Grazie.